Hello and welcome to my channel. It is always a pleasure to have you here. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Today, what are we going to talk about? Maybe you've been wondering, how can I write a reading presentation? How can I write a reading speech? So today I'm going to take you through how you can write a winning presentation of the correct structure using the power of AI. AI is here to stay, and as speakers, as authors, we need to take advantage of this, and we can write better copies, better presentations. So let's go, and I'll share with you, let me share with you my screen, and how I do this. Maybe I'm going to use a practical uh, presentation I will be doing uh, next week, and I'm going to use that to do this particular tutorial. So if you are new to this channel, please just watch. Don't like first, don't subscribe, just watch first. If you like the content I'm giving you, then you get to subscribe. But wait, there's a bonus at the end, and you take advantage of that. So let's go straight to my screen. So if you can see my screen, this is my screen, and uh, this is the AI I'm going to use to do all the presentations, uh, to write the presentation that I'm going to write about. So let me sh share with you what I'll be doing in the next week, the presentation, this is the presentation, let me show it. So I'm going to do a presentation which has to do with ensuring good workplace work ethics through personal branding. And it's going to be on the May, uh, May 5th, and I'm going to do it to the Institute of fin Financial Accountants. And uh, so I'm going to use this particular speech, how I'm going to structure it, how I'm going to plan it, and this is what I'm going to use as a case study. So let's go to copy.ai. So if you are new to copy.ai, you just get started and uh, you log in if you are already having an accounts and you can use this to write this presentation. So how do you do that? So I'm going to use the blog writing tool. So there's a tool that talks about when you come here, there are a lot of tools that you can use. You can write your website copies, you can write email letters, social media tools, you can write different things, but I'm going to use the blog tool. And uh, I'm going to use the outline structure. So you can use that to get your descriptions. You can use that to get your titles. But I'm just going to use the outline structure so that you give me maybe possible points that I can talk about in my presentation. So this is the outline. So you can put your title, the uh, project title, which is maybe next uh, IP. IFA, rather, IFA, IFA presentation. So, and if you have a website, it's optional, you can put that. Then, so I'm going to use the title of my presentation, the topic I'm going to talk about. And that's what I'm going to use to what? Uh, to get this particular uh, speech structured. So what is the title? It's Ensuring Good Workplace Ethics Through Personal Branding. So that's just what I'm going to type in here. Ensuring Good Workplace Ethics Through Personal Branding. So this is the structure I'm going to use. So the, the blog will ask you, uh, it's, it's going to, the tool will ask you, what is the blog about? Then I say personal branding. Uh, good. I'm just going to start workplace ethics. You put the relevant keywords here. And uh, personal branding is also. So with this, you get to choose how you want to uh, structure it. So you can add more descriptions here, but I am just going to leave it like this. And you also get to choose the tone. Do you want to be it to be professional, persuasive, luxury, relaxed, bold, adventurous? I want it in a professional manner. So once you do this, and you can just type, uh, click on create copy, it's going to give you different outlines. So in some uh, 17 seconds, you see different outlines that it will give us. And one, it's not even up to 17 seconds, 10 seconds, we have an out outline. And this will blow your mind. Because once you get the outline, it's going to give you different, different outlines. So let's see them. 
So like you can start like the first section, what is workplace ethics? Contributing to the overall st culture of the workplace, training employees to maintain good ethics in workplace, controlling and handling conflicts, making ethics a part of culture, personal branding for workplace as ethics. So I can pick any of this and structure it and um, make it a, a part of my speech. Then uh, there, d there are different structures. Why is personal branding important? Who are you? What do you understand for? What do you stand for? What can you bring to the table? What are your core values? What do you want to reach and why? Be on. So it gives you different opportunities to select from. And let's see the third one. What is a personal brand? How do you know what your personal brand is? How can a personal brand be used to ensure good ethics in the workplace? And uh, there's another one, reflects on your work ethics. Consider the work effect, effect of a lack of ethics in the workplace. Know what you stand for. Develop a mission and mission, vision and mission statement. Be accountable, be focused on your strength. So if I want any of this, I'll, I may just pick one and uh, make it part of my presentation. Ethics and personal branding. Personal branding ethics audit. Avoiding personal branding pitfalls. So I can pick one and make it like, first thing to talk about creating a personal brand so i'll just copy one so how do you create a personal brand then you can use different i'll share with you different tools that you can use to write that but i'm just going to copy this and uh, let me open google docs and once i open google docs we can be able to uh, put that in and i'm just going to structure my presentation these are things i've already used so I'm just going to create a blank doc, and I'm going to put one, creating a personal brand. Then I'm coming here again, the importance of personal branding. Uh, is that important? Yes, it's important. The importance of personal branding. So I've copied that. So you can see that I'm having an outline of my presentation. Maybe if I was not having an, uh, an idea of what to talk about, it has broken them down into the talking points. Personal brand is evolving, building relationships, ethics are important at workplace. So I can pick this, but let me go down, do what you stay, set plans and stick to them. Repre respecting the business ethics, be an honest self promoter. Control yourself within things. So there are different ones that you see, different talking points that I can use. Be professional, right, so professional is okay. Professional is okay. How to create a personal blanket, communicate with others authentically. I may use this. I may use one of them. Take care of your physical appearance. Personal branding can be a tool for communication. So because I, at a conference, I want to get people to buy my public speaking courses. So I'm going to add like a bit more of communication to that so that I can, once I'm speaking, I can stress on that. So com anything that comes with communication is good for me. And uh, communication, your personal brand, communicating your personal brand. Personal brand is about, okay, the importance of professionalism, the brand, the personal brand ethics, make predictions and plans. Plan out your strategy, visualize your goals. So this one will also come because I want to talk about vision and how people can pay it forward. So I'm going to put that here. So I have like four talking points. The more I do this, identify your personal brand, your brand story. This is good. This is good. This is good. What is your story? What is your story? Like personal, professional. So I'm just going to put this one here. And uh, your brand story. But then I can restructure them. This one may come first, second, third, but I'm just putting the talking points which you can equally do at any given time using this particular tool. So I'm just going to protect your personal brand. It's important. We'll go here and do protecting your personal brand. And I'll add that here. Then now I can, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It's okay, six things are to uh, okay to talk about. Okay, so maybe let's talk about consistency. So you can see it has given me more it has given me more talking points that I can just use. And in a minute I can just bring a, an outline here 
and start a presentation right now. Public speaking is important, but knowing what to talk about is very important also. So, and that is the key. So once I'm done with this, I can decide to use to, if you should, for example, if you have any of the talking points and you don't know how to use that, you can still even expand that using the copy.ai. Maybe I want a talking point, like, like uh, bullet point to blog section. So maybe I'll just click on here. And you can see it's already here. That is a blog topic. And I'll pick one of them, which I copied. If you wanted to write it for you to read, that's okay. But I don't do that. But I'm just going to show <coughs> you how you can possibly do that. So you create copy, professional, and ensuring good that you, still use, you still use the topic. But it's going to create like blog sections for you, for you to use. It's going to create a blog section for you to be able to use to do whatever you want to do. So as much so you can see, so this is a blog section that you can use, which is which falls under your personal brand should be unique. So as a professional, building your personal brand is very important. You need to know how to speak, dress, and act in front of others. You also need to know what you do well and what you can do to improve. If you don't know your strengths, then it's going to be hard for others to figure them out. Your personal brand should be unique. If everyone around you has the same personal brand, that tells potential employees, employees that either the company is too easy on its employees or the company is too strict, that it doesn't allow its employees an individuality. In fact, being unique might actually help you stand out from the... So, you see, it's a webinar. I can even read this as, like, uh, that this talking point I'm talking about. I can read that as this, or you can just explore more to see your personal brand should be very different from corporate branding. While there are many similarities between the two, it's important to remember you are the one, only one person. You should be able to focus on what is unique about you and your career in an authentic way. So if I'm presenting this, I may read it out, and you may not even think that I'm reading it. And it's a webinar, and I can just use this. So this is what copy.ai has, and this is how you can use AI to write your uh, presentations. If it's a speech, if it's a blog post, you can use this to write that. And I believe that you've learned something. If, you've le if you have actually learned something, please just give me a thumbs up. Now you have the reason to subscribe. But I'm going to leave copy.ai the, the, so the tool. The link is in the description below, and you can get the opportunity to just subscribe. Use the free version, or you can just pay a little, like $37, to use it for a whole month. You can write your blogs, you can write a lot of things, you can write your personal tools. If you also want to do public speaking, you learn more about public speaking, check out my blog and let's connect. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Stay blessed. My name is Brian Mustafa once again and you are my friend. Thank you very much.